Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. The Northern Lights can be seen several times a year in places like Northern Canada and Iceland, but seeing the lights around Youngstown, that is rare. But there's a chance of it happening tonight. First News anchor Alexis Walters looked into the matter and she is live tonight with what we can expect. Stan, astronomers are forecasting that there is a chance that we could see the northern lights here in the northern part of Ohio. But what are the best conditions to see it and why is it tonight dipping so far south? Well, I talked to an astronomer at YSU and he gave me a little bit of insight. Just like we have weather here in our atmosphere, there's what astronomers call space weather. And an aurora borealis is the result of a geomagnetic storm from a sunspot. It's simply the sun bellowing out, you know, a bunch of uh, protons and electrons. And if it does that in the direction of Earth, then a couple of days later, these charged particles will go soaring by the Earth and they can cause effects with our magnetic field. The stronger the storm, the further south the glowing atmosphere can be seen. Tonight's geomagnetic storm, Durrell says, is about middle of the road. If the aurora reaches down as far south as they suggest, uh, you'd have to look straight north, and the closer you are to the lake, the better. It doesn't always show up in the same way either. So what should you look for? It just looks like a, like I said, it looks like a, a almost like a, like a flag waving in the breeze with how it looks in the sky. And sometimes it's just, you know, half the sky will be a certain color. Like what's that greenish glow? Just like a weather forecast, a forecast for the northern lights has a lot of variables. So what are our odds of seeing it? It's a bit of a long shot. If our clouds clear out and you look just above the northern horizon in a very dark place, you may see that green glow. And even the chance of seeing it, Durrell says, is worth it. It's like, well, you know, if you've got a good north facing direction and, you know, it's a clear out, you know, go up and take a look. You might be pleasantly surprised because uh, it really is a neat thing to see. Now the lights can last anywhere from a couple of minutes to a couple of hours and tonight with that slim chance the best time to look up in the sky for that green glow is going to be anywhere from 11 p.m. until about 2 a.m. Now again it's kind of weather dependent of course with the clouds out there as well. For now live in Boardman Alexis Walters First News at 10.